cloud is great. It solves a lot of real-world problems, but it's not just one cloud anymore. Public clouds, private clouds, edge clouds. The average business uses five different cloud providers. It's become chaotic and complex. With unpredictable costs, inconsistent security, multiple management tools, and different formats for workloads that span cloud platforms and providers. But it doesn't have to be that way. The Dell Technologies Cloud, powered by VMware, can be the one constant across your clouds. It brings consistent infrastructure and operations to your multi-cloud environment, so you can choose the right cloud for each application. A public cloud that lets you easily tap into services. A private cloud that's fully under your control. Or the edge, with cloud as a service. With a true hybrid cloud experience, your business becomes more agile with simple workload migration and easy onboarding for new assets. Your teams get to market faster. With simplified operations and automated processes, you reduce risk and strengthen your security profile. And with Dell Technologies Cloud, you have flexible consumption options, reducing your total cost of ownership. Like it or not, the business world often requires many clouds. Now, that's easier than ever with consistent infrastructure, operations, and services across all your clouds. You get the cloud without the chaos. The Dell Technologies Cloud. Good afternoon from uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. Again, my name is Andy Chow, and I, um, as Braddock indicated, I recently joined the Thai Silicon Valley Board um, at the start of the year, and I've been a, a charter member uh, for about a decade, and have managed the uh, relationship between Silicon Valley Bank and Thai and Thai Global for about the same period. Uh, SVB has been a partner with, with uh, Thai Silicon Valley since its launch back in 1992. Over my past uh, 17 years at the bank, I've been helping to build out the bank's international expansion. And from the early days of that journey, when I moved to London to launch our business there, one of the first organizations I turned to was Thai Global and attended events for entrepreneurs in London and met the head of Thai Global then, Aper Bagri. A few years later, I was in Stockholm for an entrepreneurship event, which included several visiting Thai members and culminated with the launch of the Thai Nordics chapter. Today, for my job, I'm the managing director at SVB, head of our global gateway business, which focuses on new and emerging tech hubs around the world, and India is one of our focus markets. So it won't be any surprise to you when you hear me say I spoke at TyCon in, in Delhi last um, October. And a long way of saying that Thai Global is one of the premier entrepreneurship focused organizations around the world and a strategic partner for my team in SVB. In fact, SVB was also one of the very first sponsors of Thai Global. I now have the pleasure today of introducing Mahavir Sharma, current chairman of board of trustees of Thai Global. Mahavir has been a long-serving trustee. He is an active early-stage investor, and Mahavir will be introducing Edipapi Paranaswamy, Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, a state in India that has been doing a lot of creative things to support the startup ecosystem. Over to you, Mahavir. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. On behalf of Thai globally, I, Mahavir Sharma, welcome all of you to TaiCon. Um, I think it gives me immense pleasure and uh, a matter of pride that Thai Silicon Valley has pulled off such a great virtual event with two um, Road to Tycons and now this finally this great Tycon with a great lineup of speakers. Congratulations and best wishes to the entire team at Silicon Valley. Uh, once again, you've excelled uh, despite odd odds. Um, talking of odds, it's been almost six months that the world has virtually been locked out. But this has been uh, not hampered or deterred Thai across the world to grow from one event to the other. We've done 1,000 plus virtual events in the last five to six months. Each and every chapter has excelled. We have learned from each other. We have connected with, with each other. We have mentored each other. And I think we've grown from strength to strength. Our um, annual programs like the TYE, which is a school-based um, entrepreneurship program. The finals were conducted virtually at Thai University, currently under, um, you know, almost reaching the final stages in a, until mid of September, has been conducted virtually across various chapters and on the final stages of it. Um, Thai Women's Program, 
which is a new program that we launched last year, has been going from you know great guns. Many chapters have participated. Finals across chapters have been happening. Um, the grand finale will happen in January, and I think that's going to be a great booster for women entrepreneurship across the globe. Um, our Angels program has uh, been, been going from pillar to post in um, the U.S. and India, and we look at it as a further enhancement of our mentoring and investment program. Die Global has launched many initiatives for charter members. We have a virtual card where you can network with each other. We can, you know, have special interest groups where we can network across sectors, which has also been having a great, great review. Um, we have partnered with outside organizations where we can virtually uh, have deals happening, partnerships happening, uh, mergers and acquisitions happening, and it's always been a great experience. Um, on the uh, future, we have um, Thai cohorts coming, we have an access program to help uh, people who are not uh, privileged enough or, to, um, or don't have access to um, entrepreneurs or organizations luck where we have a, in a program called Thai Access which is going to be launched up. Uh, we have partnered with Government of India, Startup India program along with KPMG uh, where we will be mentoring and handholding multiple, you know, thousands of startups across India and many such schemes of, uh, you know, mentoring and um, other things happening. So all in all, um, we're doing well and I wish everyone, every entrepreneur all the very best and I think Thai is going to be uh, standing by you, walking with you. Um, going along with you in whatever you want, whatever you want to achieve, and that's the entire um, goal of Thai. Um, and thank you, everyone. Congratulations once again to Thai Thai Silicon Valley. Um, on that note, I'd like to um, introduce our um, speaker. Um, you know, the Honorable Chief Minister of uh, Tamil Nadu, um, Mr. Palan um, has been a politician of great uh, aptitude. Um, he's been in politics since 1974. He's an entrepreneur. Um, he was an entrepreneur before he joined politics. He used to deal in jaggery, I'm told by uh, many people. Um, he understands uh, what entrepreneurship is. He's been serving as the chief minister of, Thai, of Tamil Nadu, apologies, uh, since two, February 2017. His many schemes, um, especially for women and child security, called the Amma Patrol, um, if, since he comes from an agriculture family, the idea of crop rotation and optimizing um, agriculture growth has been uh, great. Um, his Fame India scheme are, you know, amongst many such policies and schemes that he has um, involved, uh, has been involved with, whether he was a, a member of parliament or a member of legislative assembly or as the chief minister, I, I welcome uh, with great uh, uh, pride and uh, great honor our next keynote speaker, the Chief Minister, Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. E. K. Palanaswamy. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I am delighted to deliver the closing keynote address at the 27th edition of Icon. Earlier, you have heard the opening keynote delivered by Mrs. Indra Nui, former chairperson of PepsiCo. Mrs. Indra Nui continues to inspire women entrepreneurs of the world. I am also happy to note that grand keynotes delivered by Mr. Eric Yuan, founder and CEO, Zoom. Mr. Robert Steen, chairman and CEO, Kappa. Mr. Rich Colcott, editor, Pops and Pops Asia. 
Mr. Pratt Letty, co-founders Service Now One, Mr. C. J. Thesai, Chief Product Officer Service Now. We all know that Thai was founded 28 years ago by Indian professionals with the vision of creating a network for Indians in Silicon Valley. Today, Thai is a diverse global organization with 61 chapters across 14 countries and proudly serves global community of entrepreneurs. I am happy to know that DAI's flagship conference Recon is now in its 27th edition and maintains its consistent focus on entrepreneurs, innovation and emerging technologies. Yes, one of the top three states of India and the premier in terms of overall development, health, human wealth, innovation and infrastructure. Tamil Nadu is a powerhouse to India's economic and technical advancement. I would have liked to address all of you in person, but given the COVID-19 situation, I take this opportunity through the virtual platform at Taikan to talk about Tamil Nadu, the most progressive state in India and its relevance to the large and Indian and global community. I am aware that my message will reach far and wide in the world through Taikan's global platform, giving visibility to Tamil Nadu's status as well as amplifying DAI's global mission of creating, networking, mentoring, education, incubation and funding services for Indian across the globe. Tamil Nadu is one of the leading states in IT and has been providing valuable software, IT products and IT enabled service to the domestic as well as international markets and exporting these services in large volumes. Chennai has emerged as the SaaS capital of India. Tamil Nadu has a wide network of IT parks across the state, with Chennai being recognized globally as a leading tech center. A conference like Taikan with its special emphasis on technology and being held in Silicon Valley, the tech capital of the world, has great synergy with the Chennai's status as a leading technology city of India. Best wishes to all the leaders and participants of Taikan 2020. Welcome. Thank you, uh, Honorable Chief Minister. And uh, right uh, now, I and uh, right now I would like to call upon A. G. K., who, who is who full name is A. G. Karnakaran, who is our president elect for Thai Silicon Valley, the incoming president, and he is going to introduce the follow on for uh, the chief minister's speech. Uh, a little uh, few facts about A. G. K. He is a uh, senior business leader in the valley and a serial entrepreneur. He is the president and CEO of a company called Multiware Core Inc. Welcome, AGK, to take it over. Thank you, Kumar. Um, Wanakam, uh, welcome again um, on behalf of uh, uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, it's an honor uh, for me to present uh, Tamil Nadu uh, as I was born there also. Um, we heard a lot from Tamil Nadu Chief Minister about um, all the possibilities around, um, you know, Chennai as well as all other parts of Tamil Nadu. Um, you know, we have been, Thai Silicon Valley has been very closely connected with um, Tamil Nadu government. Last year, um, uh, Honorable Chief Minister and his other ministers and the entire um, uh, staff uh, from the secretary on came, visited the valley, interacted with many Thai Silicon Valley leaders that, uh, culminated in them um, you know, playing an important role with the Silicon Valley here. It's, it's, a, it's a great um, uh, you know, opportunity uh, for entrepreneurs in the Valley as well as uh, through a platform provided by Thai um, and uh, Tamil Nadu government. Uh, as you know, Tamil Nadu, uh, especially Chennai has got a um, you know, lot of educational institutions, research institutions, Pretty much all the um, IT companies are there, 
And in addition to research institution, um, IT companies, Tamil Nadu also has got a good manufacturing hub. You know, combining all of those things, we can create large enterprises in Tamil Nadu. So uh, again, it's a great honor for us to connect, uh, uh, you know, be the conduit between the Silicon Valley and Tamil Nadu. Um, I want to now take a moment uh, to introduce uh, Honorable Minister uh, Uday Kumar. Uh, his initials are RB Uday Kumar. And uh, he's the Minister of Revenue, Disaster Management, and uh, Information Technology. Uh, Uday Kumar is, has traveled uh, a lot, uh, you know, to promote industries and investment in Tamil Nadu. He has uh, visited uh, America, various parts of America, Dubai. And uh, the idea is to foster technology entrepreneurship between the, uh, you know, America in general, Silicon Valley and Tamil Nadu. He has made tremendous impact uh, by introducing online Patta scheme. In, in essence, it's the uh, online property title uh, transfer mechanism, which, which is phenomenal. And uh, he has also played a lot of role with respect to uh, the major disasters like Kaja, Oki, and saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Um, without further ado, Please welcome Honorable Minister Uday Kumar. In Madurai, now the time is midnight to one o'clock. The district collector of Madurai, Vinay Haye, is the prestigious district collector of the year. Number of uh, media persons is here. I think that the history of Madurai is the past time. The prestigious world level conference to develop that IT department. So I proudly register this world level conference participation. I am extremely happy to participate and speak in the 27 editions of Taikang and offer my opinion ah, and thoughts as a minister of information and technology government of Tamil Nadu. You have here no keynote address of the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Nitin Bhai Nehru, the Honorable Chief Minister in his speech, and brief on the importance and strategic position of the state of Tamil Nadu in IT and IT enabled services sector of India. He had mentioned that Tamil Nadu is a powerhouse to India's economic and technical advancement. As a Minister for IT, I can confidently state here that given the power of having a highly skilled and technically strong human resources of the state of Tamil Nadu. The state, by leveraging the advancement of IT and IT enabled services in the state, over the past few years, can emerge as the leading state in almost all the sectors throughout in our country. We help agriculture, industries, food processing, supply chain, management, transportation, automobile, electronic, hardware, manufacturing, housing, and etc. As a Tamil Nadu has a highly disciplined society with a minimal law and order issue, at the same time, technically skilled and power. It attracts international investors and industries to immerse in the state and establish their firms, factories, and companies to develop their global business. I am excited to announce that within a period of 18 months, we would have connected all the 12,525 villages per time by OFC broadband networking connectivity, providing one 
GPS broadband connectivity to each village Punjab. We have already distributed the seed scheme of Honorable Farmer Chief Minister Kiran Upratchandari Amma, 54 lakhs of free laptops to the students of high school in the state. Hence, the broadband OFC network connectivity provided through WalkNet and Covenant schemes of government will empower the rural and urban youth in availing technology for the growth and employment. Tamil Nadu is moving towards a unified digital infrastructure, which will be convergent platform of all the OFC infrastructure in the state. Government of Tamil Nadu is not only a posing a way in the field of IT and IT enabled services, but also the electric hardware manufacturing sector. Honorable Chief Minister Edapadi Pandishami had announced the establishment of four electronic manufacturing clusters in the state, what is on for establishment of EMS in near China. Tamil Nadu is in the process of setting up IT, ITS jobs in rural areas by opening satellite offices in non urban locations where a higher number of skilled youngsters lie. This will enable cross federations of ideas and habits and create highly paid jobs in villages and small towns. By hiring local talent and training, we as a country develop deep capabilities and competence in the global market. Talented leaders who have their roots in the Tamil Nadu have left the mark as a leading and presence of the United States of America like the Sudan CEO, Google, and this is Indra Noyi Farmer, Chapters and PepsiCo. Tamil Nadu has schemes for utilizing emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, drones, ROT, and virtual reality in this governance program. Thanks for uh, this uh, golden opportunity to particip participate in the world level uh, IT conference and uh, creating uh, jobs for youngsters in uh, India and Tamil Nadu, particularly in the south regions of Tamil Nadu. Once again, a great thank you and personally thank you for all participants, all speakers, all organizers, the prestigious and the global world level conference where pioneer efforts is create the opportunities, job opportunities, and guide the talented youngsters in IT sector. Thank you.